The landscape for travel has changed since COVID. It's all about the experience. It's about coming back or trying something new, especially in the great outdoors of Southwest Utah. It's, it's not just about getting people here. It's about creating experiences, life-changing experiences that will be meaningful for the rest of their life. For Eric Baird and his family, escaping to the great outdoors during the pandemic was a welcome relief. For us, it was a respite. It was a way for us to actually get away from being indoors, locked down. We could still explore and get out where nobody was. And so now I, I, you know, we have this, this innate desire to share that with other people, so I, I want other people to experience it. He and his wife continue sharing that experience of outside wellness using outdoor yoga on the weekends at Sand Hollow Resort. While those in the hospitality industry struggled to stay afloat during the first few months, they then saw a shift, which included sports and outdoor recreation. After a devastating start, a couple of months of really, really severe devastation in the tourism industry, it took a sharp rebound back up and people started coming uh, to, to find their space. Whitworth hotels went from an 8% occupancy to being near full capacity every night. Now the problem is more about informing guests to plan ahead in order to make sure they have a place to stay. And we're doing it in our marketing. Everything we're doing uh, as the destination, uh, us as Whitworth Hospitality, it's planning for your fall vacation. And then we're talking springtime right now. So plan for your fall vacation, um, plan for your summer vacation. We're not saying last minute deals come next week. Like that message is gone. And some state and national parks have even seen record numbers following the pandemic, including Sand Hollow. The month of December, I think one of our state parks, Sand Hollow State Park, the visitation was up 250% over the previous December. So, you know, record visitation. And in months when they normally weren't coming, like you don't think of Sand Hollow, it's a reservoir. You think of that as a summer destination place, but it also has 20,000 acres of ATV and off-road land. And, and people discovered that there were two sides of the, of the story there. Hospitality leaders have since learned from state and professional marketers that more and more people are looking for new destinations where they'll stay longer and spend more. That would be golf, mountain biking, OHV. Um, we also focus on the outdoor adventure message. How could we not? This is just such an outdoor adventure paradise. The pandemic, I think, seems to have really awakened this renewed desire to get outside and reconnect with your adventure side. Um, and, and it feels like people are really starting to travel with intention. They want that ultimate adventure. Tuacon Center for the Arts Amphitheater managed to stay open during most of the pandemic, putting on shows, concerts, and most recently hosted the professional bull riding competition. But one of the reasons we were able to do that was because we're an outdoor venue. So as long as people wear masks, they social distance in public areas, uh, we were actually able to, to put on several concerts and now we're looking forward to the 2021 summer Broadway season. In the end, these hospitality leaders believe that if visitors plan ahead, the demand can be spread out, allowing them to come at the right time to enjoy their best lifetime experience. So many of your businesses have great stories to tell. We just need to uncover that and put it into that whole, leverage that from a destination perspective to tell what's going on in this region. And by working together, those in hospitality and marketing can pass along patrons to others if need be in order to sustain a nearly $600 million industry that keeps this area thriving and growing into the future. People come here, they have an experience here, they feel something they haven't felt before. Pretty soon they're bringing their families back for additional vacations and, and, and the next thing you know they're buying houses and they're, build, and they're starting businesses. And it, and it just creates this economic cycle. So In Washington County, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.